So we're down at the Morty Alec Football Netball Club and I'm lucky enough to be joined by the President, Dave Cox. Coxie, welcome. Thanks very much, Wilbur. Uh, how's the new job going, mate? All right? Yeah, so far so good. No complaints. How's things at your end, mate? It's been a busy off-season for Morty Alec. What's been happening? Yeah, it has. Look, it's been very busy for the whole league with the uh, league changes uh, up the top there, which is great and exciting. They've got some fantastic new initiatives that have come on board through league, which is we're all excited about. And uh, and so looking around some of the other clubs who are really becoming uh, really focused on their on-ground activity and their off-ground activity, which is great, and, and we're no different. We've uh, you know, tried to have a look at uh, embedding the, the, you know, the platform that we put in last year, and, and it looks like it's going all right, and we've uh, managed to get a couple of good recruits as well, so it's been good. Fantastic, yeah, we've heard a little, about, a little bit about them. Tell us uh, about some of the guys you've got on board this year. Well, I suppose Ryan Semmel seems to be number one. He's uh, the bloke who a lot of people are talking about, but look, Ryan's transitioned into us extremely well. He comes from uh, you know, great uh, foundations that he's had um, through his footy journey, but uh, he's just bringing some great standards, and along with him comes uh, big Josh Dickerson, you know, terrific, uh, terrific fella he is, and uh, Chrissy Gleason's come on board. So we've got a, lot of, a, a number of players that just keep trying to add in. Not only that, uh, Dan Gromley's come across and a few others that um, yeah, predominantly um, folks with really good footy experience, but yep. I think the thing that pleases me the most is the amount of kids that are willing to join our club and, and be a part of our club, not having the juniors, you know, the 20 year old connoisseurs of the world and the Dev Dankets, they're the ones that excite us, mate. Yeah, that's it, mate. And uh, obviously you've uh, bolstered your off field as well with the addition of a, a new coach in um, Tommy McMahon, the recently retired Ruckman. Tell us about how his transition to uh, coaching. Yeah, well, probably much in the same uh, vein as Joshy Jewell from uh, two years ago. You know, they, we're just fortunate enough that we've got great Mordialic people. They've um, gone into that coaching role, which is a pretty hard thing to do at times, going from player to coach. Yep. But so far, uh, Tommy's really a uh, big voice out on the track and really throwing around his directions and all that sort of stuff. And I'm pretty sure that he's uh, glad that he doesn't have to do the running anymore because he's shouting at <laughs> them as they're all doing that. But no, he's, he's great at this and so our team and you know really compliments Mick and, uh, and Steve Brown and the, the coaching staff, mate. Great. Yeah, fantastic. Good to hear. So obviously uh, bolstered on field, uh, strengthened off field and great facilities, young kids coming through. And you weren't too far away from it last year. Must be confident heading into 2019. What does he have in store for Morty Alec? Oh, we'll look to see if we can um, get a bit of luck going our way. We had a number of injuries last year, as a lot of teams do, but we, well, that was a, a mid-season slump. We need to address that. There's a few things that we've got to do, really keep our eye on the ball for the um, whole lot of the year, and if we can do that, you know, we're as good a chance as anyone to really be competitive throughout the year. Fantastic. Wish you the best of luck for the year ahead, Coxy. Thanks very much, Wilbur. Appreciate it, mate. Get your game face on.